Is this what they are? Second. Okay, second January 2015. This Yuki uh, female, mm -hmm. female uh, about uh, two years old, comes in with what's the main complaint? Is aggressiveness. aggressiveness. The behavior is uh, not normal. And panting, right? Yeah, heavy panting. Heavy panting, when? Recently? <laughs> Uh, How for long a few months, about three months. Three months of panting and uh, aggressive? For the last two weeks. Last two weeks, once to bite the owner. And any other appetite loss? No, no, appetite, no appetite loss. loss. Good appetite. Good appetite. Um, drinking a lot? A lot. A lot of drinking. Drink a lot, right? Urinate a lot. The stools are normal? Yes, normal. Everything okay. is normal. So, actually, uh, I start the checkup with the beginning. We check the mucous membrane, which is pink. You can see it's pink color. It's normal. Then I check the mouth, the, the gums. Now the gums are pink. You can see there. Only that uh, you can see this dog has periodontal disease, especially the back teeth, but not serious. The tartar is here, so I would say this is stage two. A bit of uh, inflammation of the gums. Okay, this side also you can see. So this one a bit of dental scaling, plus uh, brushing the teeth. Do you brush your teeth? No, she doesn't want. Uh, what she does is uh, use the some uh, either towel or, some, or something and then brush her that. Oh, I do that. Uh, I do that. But because the dog is eating home cooked food, so that's why the tartar comes in. Oh. Okay, so now I check the heart. Because she says it's panting for six months with the tongue coming out. But not for how long? Short one only, right? For about three months already. But how long it lasts? Wow, it can last about like six hours throughout the night. At night only? Uh at night. Sometimes in the day if she get a bit uh excited. Not excited. She get a bit scared. Oh okay, this trembling is the dog is nervous. I check her heart. The heart is okay. Check the lungs. Any coughing? No, she got a lot of phlegm. Phlegm, huh? No lung sounds. So the heart definitely is okay. The, the lungs are okay. Now I check the abdomen, palpation. So my palpation see there's any pain or not. So I'll just palpate the anterior first. No pain. I can feel the uterus. Of course, this one you have to have many years experience. You can feel the uterus, whether it's swollen or not. No? So after that, so you hold the dog upside down to check, hold the armpit. Hold the armpit. No? Okay, so hold slowly. Then we check. Uh, because this female dog has not been sterilized, so we check here. Now whether this part is swollen or not. Any discharge. There's no discharge. Now, you were saying that the last hit was six months, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's possible the last hit is six months, but because of the behavior, uh, aggressive behavior, so I would just check the whether there is um, false pregnancy. Or not. Now, normally false pregnancy, you will see milk coming out. You see, you can see the milk coming out. And uh, that explains why the last two weeks, the, the female dog was... Uh, not very happy, right? Uh, aggressive. Yeah, aggressive. Uh, uh, there, you can see the milk coming out. This is a, this is a recent forced pregnancy. Now, forced pregnancy usually happens about uh, uh, two months from the last uh, heat period, but the owner said it's six months. So maybe she missed the two months ago. The dog was licking herself, private parts. Yeah. Uh, yeah two yeah, months. So. Uh, so the first pregnancy will be uh, normally two months from the last heat period and then now you confirm that she was licking herself. Yeah. So we know that uh, the dog is uh, having the heat in uh, uh, oh, November, November, mm -hmm. right? October. October, yeah, October. October. So this dog can be uh, sterilized but the best is the blood test. Okay. If you don't have a blood test then you, you will proceed. We can do all the tests as well and see how it goes. If she's uh, okay, then we will sterilize the next okay. stage. Okay, so we do the blood test first. And uh, 
let the milk goes goes down first. First pregnancy, normally the milk will go down after one one month yeah, around that. And other than that, that, that is still very good, right? Yeah, very good. Very good. So, so other than that, uh, the pulse is also very good, uh, strong. You feel the pulse from here, the femoral pulse. Okay. Why did she feel puffy at the, the tummy side? Not really. It's okay. Right? There's no gas inside the intestine, but uh, sometimes there's the infection of the of the birth tubes and of the womb. Oh. Then uh, you see discharge from the vagina or a swelling of the uterus. It's called pyometra. Now pyometra, we will we will feel it. The best is to palpate. And uh, but this dog doesn't have doesn't have because you can feel the swollen uterus. Uh, but it doesn't have. So overall, she's okay for uh, normal uterus. Uh. So now uh, we, we will just take a blood test and uh, see how's the health of the dog first. Then, uh, then she will decide whether she wants to do the spay and the dental scaling at the same time. Other than We that, can do the dental thing um, mm -hmm. together today, right? Ah, you, you want to do spay today? Uh, can we? Uh, I thought you want a blood test first. You do a blood test, but what about her teeth? It won't rot, right? No, that one can be done. Uh, no, uh, that's uh, only the periodontal type teeth. Okay. Periodontal disease stage 2, only not stage 4. Okay. So it's, it's still very good at the teeth there. Eh? There's no gum inflammation, not, not a lot. No tissue loss. Tissue loss then will be worse. Eh? The oh. gum, the roots will be exposed. Okay. So okay, nice.